Bryant in the studio with me this morning on behalf of the Evergreen After School Club, Dave Janusek, and with him is Lillian Clements. Uh, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Todd. It feels good to be in a room that looks unfamiliar See, human, over the last year. Human beings. Yeah, how about people right. here. On the how radio. about that? Wow. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people, and they're here to talk about the uh, David Janusek statue that is being built on the murphy's <laughs> lot in blairsville uh and no one's more deserving oh no it's not that is it it's not at all that'd be a good place i'm sure for people to yeah i'm sure pay homage in some way i don't know what that would end up being but we are here to talk about something a little bit more important uh, and more serious than, than that and it's uh it's Evergreen After School Clubs coming back this year uh, with Kiss a Pig 2021. Dun, dun, dun. So you know that uh, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel when you can kiss an animal safely. That's right. And <laughs> don't have to wear a mask and nobody's uh, <laughs> nobody's telling us we can't do it. So again, we're bringing it back. We're going to do mm-hmm. it live. Um, I got Lillian here today. Lillian mm-hmm, wears mm-hmm. several hats. She is on the Evergreen board. She is the director or our uh, committee uh, chair for fundraising and she's also one of the contestants so we'll talk a little bit about oh, yeah. our kickoff yeah, how about that? And, uh, <laughs> and trying to get a couple more contestants by thursday night and yeah. the plans we have for this year for our our major fundraiser kiss a pig yeah. 2021 you know one of the interesting things is she actually does wear a lot of hats I mean, right, she's got, right, she's right, got right, a great right. hat collection. Right. He's seen them all. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and they're all pink. Right, yes. I just took one off. I said, maybe I'll get a picture without a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, and this is such a big thing for the Evergreen After School Club, uh, but uh, really uh, for Indiana County's kids, this is a big thing, isn't it? There you go. That's why I'm here. And, you know, I've always chased the children and whatever is good for them, wherever the programs are. I'm there to assist in many ways. And Evergreen is just one um, of my boards where I work with children. Um, and you wouldn't believe, and Dave can go through a bunch of stats and everything, but even though uh, there, there's a lack, and there's always a lack because of circumstances. So you always have to feel. So I'm just letting the candidates know my middle name is Olivia. So, they, <laughs> you know, we got a hard fight going on. <laughs> I see Dave also included in his picture. Yeah, that's, so, that's Olivia. That's, this is this is the yeah. statue that is going that's to be <laughs> um, put up in, in Blairsville. In Blairsville, yes. So this Olivia is the same pig, isn't it, as the last time? Yeah. Yes. If if you remember last time, I mean this this organization, this event has been through its trials and tribulations. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we uh, had done it two years in a row. We had not done it one year, and we brought it back. Um, we got all the way up to about 10 days before the county fair, and we were told that there was swine flu, and Olivia couldn't, uh, <laughs> couldn't appear to be kissed at the county fair after our contestants had raised a combined over $20,000. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you remember that year, Joyce Sharman was our uh, top contender. Yeah. She ended up kissing a, a much larger pig by the name of Black Magic. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, barring any other unforeseen viruses... Uh, Olivia will be at the county fair on uh, the 31st. That top uh, fundraiser will give it a kiss. Um, Keeping in mind that we've uh, not seen Olivia since uh, 2019. So So this is not a current current picture of Olivia? I think that's pretty current, but I don't know if it's completely up till. Because she's pretty cute. She's pretty cute, but again, (laughs) we'll see how COVID has taken effect on Olivia. But Olivia will be there Wednesday night. making an appearance at, at Noble Stein Brewery on Wayne Avenue. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is a, a big deal. It's going to be happening uh, tomorrow night. Thursday night. I'm sorry, Thursday. did I say Wednesday? You said Thursday. May 26th. Yeah. Yep, okay. 26th, Thursday. Um, well, the 26th is Wednesday. Oh, the little, 27th tw- is Thursday. When is this event, Dave? Thursday night. Thursday night. Oh, well, here we go. Yes, Thursday night, <laughs> May right 27th. The press release there, right, right, right uh, exactly. Gosh, you're killing 530, me. 530, 530. You're killing me here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll also have food there. Um, mm-hmm. Hopefully, Olivia is not listening because the Pennsylvania barbecue pig rig will be there. Um, so, Olivia, apologize if, uh, Sorry for your family. if you're listening. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they will have uh, food there. Also, interesting enough, Zach down there has... Uh, Renamed one of the beers that night uh-huh. um, from Therapy Chicken to Therapy Pig. Oh, yeah. So, so it's Therapy a Pig bill, Beer. Therapy Pig Beer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, all the contestants will be there. And again, we, we're at about seven contestants right now. I can rattle off their names if you want. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. we're, we're at seven right now. We want to get 10. 10's a good, healthy 
uh, field, so to speak. So mm-hmm. let me let me give you a quick. I'll give you a quick rundown of who we have right now. And, if it, and there's a couple of asks out there. So if you're listening right now, uh-huh. it's time it's time to to pick call up. right now. It's time <laughs> to pick up right here right now. Give me a call. Let's get down. I know that uh, Lil's got a couple of people that she's chasing, mm-hmm. but so far confirmed. Uh, Chris Adams, who is the small business executive at First Commonwealth Bank, um, Kay Smith. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to describe Kay Smith, but we all know <laughs> Kay Smith. Um, Jimmy Rickard. Uh, again, Jimmy's rather involved in a yeah. lot of different things. Rather here. beyond description as well. Uh, he's close to beyond description. And then mostly beyond description is our one and only Lillian Clemens. She's also going to be one of our contenders. Um, Sheriff Bob Fioc mm-hmm. is going to um, throw Excellent. his hat that he wears all the time into the ring. Yeah. Um, try to kiss the pig. Drew Kimmel, which I can just only describe as a serial entrepreneur. Um, he's kind of got his uh, fings, fingers, hands, or I guess we're using trotters and snouts and a lot of different things. And then, right. interesting enough, for the first time in Kiss a Pig history, um, Lou Sacco is oh, going to yeah. throw, his, throw his, uh, his, his hat back into the ring, who was our past winner in 2017. So I think Lou's gunning to knock some people out of the way and take back that crown. That, Lou's uh, on the comeback trail. He, he right, is. Right. A, it's a, what is it, a reunion tour, I guess. Yeah. Okay. We've got seven. We're looking for ten. Right. I know Lil's got a couple of people that uh, yeah. other board members are also chasing. Um, but right. uh, we want to get ten by Thursday. Then we start raising those that money uh, along the lines. Just a couple of things I, I want to make sure that uh, people understand is we asked each uh, contestant to raise a minimum fifteen hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, when we did it in twenty nineteen, we raised over twenty thousand um, dollars. And along that way, once you you sign up, you fill out the paperwork. Um, we're there every step of the way. We're meeting with you every other week as far as Evergreen. Mm-hmm. We've got a plan. We want to make sure you have a strategy. So it's not you're not on your own. Um, like I said, we hit that $20,000, over $20,000 back in 2019, mm-hmm. due largely in part as a team approach. So um, your kickoff event happening on Thursday, that's open to anybody? That's open to anybody. If you to come everybody. down um, before you start uh, – imbibing in therapy pig if you want to sign up um uh-huh. and you understand the rules and regulations we'll be more than happy to have you but we want to try to get 10 so these the, the kickoff is thursday you have three months to raise that money we're alongside of you uh what is that august 31st band night band night's coming back county uh, county fair is coming back we're going to mm-hmm. be there mm-hmm. sounds terrific looking mm-hmm. forward to that and well, we'll have a couple of other events as well we're trying to nail absolutely um we'll be working again with uh the other brewery here. I don't know if you see a theme working in here. <laughs> <laughs> what does it take to get somebody to want to kiss a pig? People <laughs> always ask that, but it seems that we we're working. There's usually theme beer here. involved. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go into some of those stories of kissing pigs and beer, but nonetheless, uh, we've also talked with our good friends down the street from uh, Noblestein mm-hmm. Levity. So we're looking at a July uh, end of July uh, bartender event, um, celebra- or uh, guest bartender event, where all of our uh, contestants will be bartending. Last year, that was a lot of fun. Lil, you were there. Right, I was. I wanted to see the pig. Now, mind you, uh-huh. I'm from a city. <laughs> it's no, coming. Lil, you're from Indiana. <laughs> I, I am now, yeah. I was born and raised there, born and raised again here. Yeah. Reborn and raised. Uh, Philadelphia. Uh, but I had to come to Indiana to see the curl on the tail of a pig uh-huh. live. So I'm all in. Yeah, I'm all in. You're I'm all, all in. You're all I just want this. you to know there's some big contenders out there, but you know, you don't know me. I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Lil's getting after it, Dave. Lil, Lil's, Lil's. I, I tell you, what, some of our contestants, they're not waiting till Thursday. They've already texted me. They've already, you know, they've got some events. Here's a, here's a neat thing. I think coming out of COVID this year, uh-huh. um, a lot of this money I, I'm feeling will be raised by smaller events that our contestants will do. Yeah. And really, you know, it's we're, we're we are in a, in a very serious matter. Coming, you know, I think we've got hopefully coronavirus behind us. Um, this is a great opportunity to follow our Facebook page. All of the events will be on the Facebook page. The contestants will have their uh, place on our Facebook page if you want to make a donation. But my point is that um, I got a feeling there'll be a lot of little events going on that are pig related mm-hmm. or kiss a pig related. And it's a great idea to get out, start to see people again and raise money. Um, again, $20,000 goes a long way um, with this money that, that, that kind of fills in those gaps that uh, the federal grants only pay so much. Sure. Um, so there's some things out there that the federal government, um, you know, doesn't feel they should cover. Um, mm-hmm. Different promotional items. Uh, last year, I'll give you a really quick example. So last year, uh, we did go live face-to-face during the summer. Um, when we went live during the summer, a lot of the school districts 
um, where we would normally get our federal uh, food uh, come through the school districts, a lot of them went to a thing called grab and go. Mm-hmm. So people were coming, they were grabbing lunches, you know, three times a week. Or our kids were there every day of the week. So we couldn't really <laughs> grab a lunch and say, here, hold on to it and only eat, you know, one sandwich today and eat the other yeah. two later. Yeah. So we had to dip into what we call our unrestricted funds, which a lot of that was kiss a pig to go and buy food outside mm-hmm. of what the federal government um, was providing because it just didn't fit our needs. So having that extra money there for promotional items um, this year, obviously, I don't know how many field trips will be taken this year. But again, you know, field trips, having uh, programs come in this year, you know, once we go through the budget and, and we want to get a couple of more programs, this money helps pay for that. So it's good to have that 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 cushion mm-hmm. that we're able to go back and say, oh, hey, we need we need uh, we need to pull money out of uh, something that's not fairly funded. Yeah. Transportation as well sometimes could be an issue. Right. Absolutely. Depending on if the school districts are providing or if, even if parents move out of the school districts but still attend that particular school district. Right. We're still responsible for that child. We just don't say no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's a wonderful thing about the Evergreen After School Club. All right. So less than a minute left here, Dave. Uh, give, us, give us the details again for okay. the event tomorrow. The details night. again are this Thursday, Thursday, 530 uh, we'll be out there with our good friends at Noble Stein uh, Brewing Company on Wayne Avenue. Livy will be there. There will be the uh, Pitts, uh, Pennsylvania Pig Rig. Uh, anybody can come. Anybody can come. There'll be uh, there'll Going be out. beverages flowing. Um, come down if if you want more information. I'm going to throw my number out there real quick: seven two four nine one zero one four seven five or D J A N U S E K D. My last name at evergreenasc.org. Not too late. Uh, like I said, we're looking for three more people to say, hey, I want to do this. Um, so we can we can raise the money this year for, for Kiss Pig. Very good. We went right up to the marker. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160. 1 FM, AM 1160.